In picturesque Apollo Bay, the government believes something sinister is lurking beneath the surface. Sewage testing has found traces of coronavirus in the coastal town, despite no positive infections reported there since the pandemic began. Someone has excreted coronavirus at some stage in the catchment of Apollo Bay. The reports have caused residents to panic and sent business plummeting as people stayed indoors. We went from maybe doing about 40 takeaway coffees to six. But after an increase in testing, residents believe it could be someone from out of town. The nearest cases have been detected 70 kilometres away in Colac. We're all a bit shocked. And, um, but then when we sort of thought about it, we thought it could be someone that's travelled through Apollo Bay from out of town. Wastewater is the latest weapon in the battle against the virus. It's being tested at 25 sites across the state to try to find undetected cases. This is an approach which has been tried before and has been successful in the uh, surveillance of polio all around the world and has enabled Australia to maintain a polio-free status. Regional Victoria's 14-day average is sitting at five cases. It needs a daily case average below five and zero mystery cases for 14 days before it can open up. But the current trend means that could be fast-tracked. They're on the cusp of those targets now. Uh, community transmission is obviously an issue as well. You've got to make sure you haven't got any of those cases. But uh, Regional Victoria will be able to take at least a step and maybe two quite soon. Overall, the state saw infections jump up to 76 today after two days below 60. The Premier urged people not to be disheartened. Wednesdays tend to see a spike because of the way tests are processed. This number's higher than it was yesterday, uh, but the trend is with us. The numbers are falling. Concerns have been raised about the modelling used to justify Victoria's strict measures because it doesn't take into account improvements to the contact tracing system, which was announced this week. Some epidemiologists have accused the Premier of taking a more cautious approach than necessary. The notion that only the lowest tolerances and the lowest thresholds have been used to model out is wrong. And the Premier is relying on the ongoing tolerance of the public to stick with the plan. Bridget Rollison, ABC News, Melbourne.